going on everyone? Uh, I wanted to bring a video today uh, in reference to the latest college football rankings for the college football playoffs this week. Uh, this is going to be part of my uh, weekly college football analysis. I know I missed the last week with it, but I was really busy doing other things. So uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about it and basically also talk about what happened in college football for this week that just passed. So it actually coincides with what happened uh, this evening as far as the rankings go. I mean, a lot of teams got upset and, you know, lost and pretty much knocked themselves out of the playoffs or if any chance of getting to the playoffs. So normally I just do this off the top, but there's so much happened that I kind of have to reference using my uh, my Kindle Fire here. But, uh, I mean, the noteworthy games that I saw were West Virginia losing to Oklahoma State, um, Baylor losing to Texas, and let's see who else. Boise State losing to Wyoming. Uh, I didn't even notice that Tennessee lost to South Carolina. Ouch. And uh, that's it as far as the, you know, major upsets. I mean, also in there, I think Navy lost to, uh, to South Florida. But, I mean, I don't think they were going to be knocking on the door of getting into the playoffs anyways. But those are the most no noteworthy losses that I saw. Um, a few unbeaten teams that, you know, felt that they had a chance of maybe making it there if they ran the table. But, I mean, now they're all on the outside looking in. So, the, the recent rankings came out this uh, this evening. And I'm not, well, I'm kind of surprised that the number four, I mean, you know, it's in order of Alabama. I didn't have any surprise with that. I'm a little bit surprised with Clemson being number two and Michigan being number three, but whatever. And then the real big surprise is Texas A&M being ranked as number four and, you know, pushing Washington to the outside looking in. Now, at first I was thinking maybe, you know, I didn't agree with it, but I guess the way that they're looking at it is, is that even though... Washington is undefeated, and Texas A&M does have that one loss. That one loss is to Alabama. And I guess they feel that Washington really hasn't played anybody of note. I mean, the real, if you look at their schedule, really the only team that you could say that they played that's of any good is basically uh, the last game that they played, which is versus Utah. I mean, other than that, I mean, you really can't say that they've played anyone that's really good. I mean, at the time, I guess they thought that playing that Stanford game was a real signature win, but now look at Stanford. And, I mean, they beat Oregon, but look at Oregon. So, they really haven't beat anybody, and they really don't have anyone on their schedule going forward that's going to be a noteworthy win for them, even if they went out all the way. I mean, maybe Washington State? I mean, I don't know. But other than that, they don't really have anyone to play. And with the traditional powers of the Pac-12 not doing as well this year, it's really hurting their chances. I mean, you know, no USC at the top. You know, no Stanford, no UCLA. I mean, all these teams are struggling. So it's just watering down the league and making it more difficult for them to get any clout. And that's just the honest to God truth. So that's why I see Texas A&M being at number four because, I mean, you just have to feel that, you know, their schedule is a little bit more noteworthy. And, you know, their one, like I said, the one loss that they did have was to Alabama, which is, you know, the number one team in the country and steamrolling people. So I guess that's 
you know, I guess that's why they are where they are. Um, I was kind of surprised to see Clemson at number two. And, uh, I mean, I guess they feel that, I mean, to me, it's, it's like a, it could be either or. Because if you look at the teams that Clemson has beat that are in the top 25 as of now, it's three teams. But if you look at Michigan, with the teams that they beat in the top 25, it's also three teams. So, I guess, I don't know. It's a, it's a toss-up, to be honest with you. Because I think that they beat, I mean, I have to look at the schedule here, but I think they beat, like, the number seven, number nine, and number 23 team. Well, we beat, like, uh, like the number... I have to look at that schedule, but I'm looking here at Texas A&M real quick. So I mean, they beat they beat Auburn. Uh, beat Tennessee. And I guess that's about it, really, because I mean, I don't know. It's, they beat Arkansas too, but. I guess you know they just feel that their their wins are more there's better quality wins that's just the bottom line with that so they're on the outside looking in I don't know if if every team wins out they're not going to get in they're not going to be able to leapfrog anyone with the schedule that they have and um, it looks like they may not even be able to leapfrog a number one I mean a one loss team either. So we just have to go and, you know, see how this thing goes, play it, you know, let all the games play out and uh, just see how things go. So that's it for that. Um, if you like the video, definitely feel free to leave a like. Um, if you agree or disagree with me or if you want to add anything to the video or anything like that of what I said, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, definitely share the video as many people as possible. All of these things will help my channel to grow. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a great night.